What's going on YouTube? I've got a quick video for you guys talking about sight radius. It's a word that gets used a lot when evaluating two pistols of differing slide lengths. And the prevailing thought is that the longer sight radius is better for practical accuracy than is the shorter sight radius. So I wanted to test that and see specifically how it related to hits on targets at five yards and 15 yards using the sight displacement drill. Now, what sight radius actually is, is it's the distance between the back of your rear sight and the back of your front sight. That is your sight radius. The wisdom being there that if this is a little bit out of alignment, the difference is not going to be quite as severe in the hits down range as it would be with like the Glock 43, which if the sights are out of alignment, the hits are going to be way more off target than they would be with a longer barreled gun. So to test this, I took a Glock 43, my Glock 48, a 17 and a 34 to the range and I did the sight displacement drill. Now what the sight displacement drill is, it's going to be center up on a, I used an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that's roughly the size of a US PSA A zone. And then you center up on the target and then skew your front sight to the left, skew it to the right, get it so it's almost out of the notch at the bottom and then stand it so that the base of the front sight is almost standing up out of the notch. Now my issue is my 17 and 34 have dots mounted which were turned off and have suppressor height sights. So the sight picture is very similar and I just tried to be as objective as possible. All the guns have different sights on them so the drill is imperfect as far as the results that we're going to look at here. But let's just look, I'm gonna throw the results on the screen. So I'm just gonna throw them up in pairs since with the pistols that are typically compared. So I'm gonna put the 43 and the 48 up on the screen and you can immediately see the difference between the two. And this is only at five yards and you can see just how far away these hits were with the 43 versus the four inch barrel length of the 48. And I promise you, I was trying to be as honest as I could with what these sight pictures were delivering. If you have two of these guns, maybe test this yourself and let me know what your results are. And between the 17 and 34 at five yards, there's not a tremendous difference, although there is some difference. Now, if you stretch it out to 15 yards, it starts to get interesting. And this is what the little guns looked like. The 43 has three shots off the paper, and that's a little bit troubling at 15 yards, whereas the 48 was able to honestly do pretty well. Meanwhile, the 17 and the 34 both were pretty similar with how they ended up hitting at 15 yards. Uh, the reason I picked 17 and 34 is a lot of people will ask the question, should I get a 17 or a 34? And the traditional wisdom is a 17. Uh, is great for red dots where sight radius doesn't matter, whereas the 34 is king with irons. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of diminishing return beyond that. I mean, the Glock 17 has roughly the sight radius of a 1911 five inch government pistol. So there appears to be diminishing returns stretching it out another three quarters of an inch with the 34. So you're probably just as squared away with a 17 or a 34 for competition and conversely, it looks like a four inch barreled gun is a huge asset for practical accuracy if the sights are misaligned at all distances. So it's something to consider when you're picking a carry gun on just how long the sight radius is. So that's what I got for you guys. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.